a prototype of SkyDrive. This is prototype in a different car. So this is technically how you could use here is expression camera. Here we do have smart traffic control with here is um five medical. This is 3D printing. Okay. Real IoT garage. The demo of a robot. Wow. Okay, hello. Probably last <laughs> visit to museum and technology like uh, stuff. And it is Tepia, the advanced technology gallery, not museum. Let's find an entrance to it. Again, it's Tokyo. Looks like, by the way, this is school in Japan. And I see many kids with uh, diplomas. Maybe they have a uh, how to say. Okay, so this looks like entrance? No, no, it's not entrance. It says go to the right. Probably this is the entrance. Let's try. Okay. Okay, okay, okay. So we finally get in and this is Tepia Advanced Technology Gallery. And now I understand my gallery because you need to make a reservation first of all. And First, we are met by a virtual assistant, and it uh, looks like her name is Finn. <laughs> okay, here is a prototype of SkyDrive. Interesting stuff. Oh, oh, it's like personal flying. Let's go. So there are two floors, and uh, let's see what we have here. So, young innovators. Okay, so these are mostly done by students, and this is um, an interesting sandwich food machine. Okay, and these are information about different students, smart ones. This is the prototype in a different car ports, I think the car seat. So here we have some, oh, and that was seated. So it gets electricity from the body. Okay, this is different automation stuff. Let's see, oh my, so this is technically, this is a projection. This is not a real screen, this is a projection, you see? Here is Circle to be. What does it do? Oh, nice. Let me show you this. So I'm pulling this out. And so this is technically how you could use some specific engineering and mechanics to travel to different tunnels. Okay, interesting. And well, okay. And then we can go back. Okay, nice. So what else we have here is expression camera. Okay, it mimics what I say. <laughs> you see, hello. And here, hello. <laughs> Interesting. Here is different stuff of play with um, these different color balls. And um, here we do have smart traffic control with image person recognition and uh, lights. They are controlled by people who are approaching. So here is some. Now we get real experience how it works. Okay, so this is drawing. Uh huh. So this robot name is Cuba, this is the Cuba. Cuba. Okay. Oh. Uh-huh. Okay. And then, then, climb it up. Oh, nice. And this robot can carry the maximum weight is 80 kilograms. 80, one, 80, 80, 0? 80 kilos, yes. Ah, 8 kilos, okay. 80 kilos. Um, uh -huh, yes, yeah, I see. Wow, that's thing. impressive. 80 kilos. And uh, what is uh, the major purpose? I mean, like, where it's usually used uh, or it, exposed? It depends on the virus. And, like, this robot, uh -huh. this robot, it's able to customize. Mm, so, ah, okay. Yes. So now it's a two modules that uh -huh. follow the little thing. So if you added the two wheels, and you can add it to two wheels. Mm -hmm. So wheel, uh, four wheels and six wheels. and as well and then so as you can see the panels like a ah. yeah, monitor so it's more like platform which you could uh, yes, uh, adjust you okay yes. got it that was great yeah and uh, quite impressive in terms of the movement how it could uh, rotate 360 on one place yes yeah. <laughs> Very nice. Here we have some different research of materials and uh, 
how you could create different materials, synthetic ones, and uh, as you can see from organics as well. And that's definitely about garbage we have. You see here is educational area. Looks like it's also considered to be with kids here. And you see different stuff where kids could play, have some fun. Again, very nice stuff. They explain all these things and it's really nice space. So the only thing, yes, you need to do some registration first. Here is um, life medical and uh, loads of life things. So different applications controlled by a headlight device. Again, this is what we got in terms of uh, technology to utilize forest, marine resources. Okay, place, place. And uh, let's see how we can get to the second floor, okay? Okay, now we go to the second floor. We'll see what else we could find there. So far, so good. So again, the personal is exceptionally kind, friendly, intensive, helpful. So nice robotic project. So all these projects, I mean like most of them, they are done by students and uh, that's why it's really impressive how young generation could uh, create something new, cool stuff. So here is second floor of Tapia gallery technology. Okay. <laughs> so it says restroom. Okay, let's see what we have there. And probably I need to leave my stuff to be easier. Okay, so here we go. This is 3D printing area and uh, some stuff already 3D printed. You see some small robotics and roads. Okay, looks like focused on kids and uh, some unfinished project tip here. I think maybe we could do some interactions with it, right? Let's try. So here is like that. Okay. It's also 3D printed stuff. And you see how more advanced professional equipment could build better, more advanced stuff. So here, oh, it's a like real workshop. Okay, cool. So you can create different stuff here with your kids. These are different tools, tools area, like from hammer to glue gun, woodwork. Oh, soldering, of course. We're doing some real stuff here. So here are like different examples of building stuff. Nice. This is how IoT Genius are born, believe me. So you see detailed instructions and uh, how you build from the scratch. All the tooling sets here on the wall, very nice. So you could get with your kids and do some real things. Some almost finished project. This is a color for the printer, big one. Um, especially for our 3D printing, uh, I would say, innovators and enthusiasts. What do you think about it? Da Vinci series is a good one. Inbox. This is possibly also for the printed stuff, right? So what else do we have here? Some whiteboarding. And uh, by the way, you see a lot of uh, space seats where you could sit and then there, there are laptops, spare laptops. So for the project required and uh, if you need uh, any, I believe, programming stuff. Oh. Okay, so laser etching device. Okay, we have two of them. And uh, again, looks like full scope coverage of any projects. Different, ready to use details. Oh, no, it's actually somebody already was working here. And here we go. It's already working, you see? 50% done. It takes a while. Really? So it's like six minutes. The potential is only seven left. It's doing some stuff. Again. Oh, this is the guy we saw in the 3D printer process. One more 3D printer. This is working. Okay. It's printing some gear set. These are some devices. Let's see if. Oh my gosh, it's working. Both. Oh, nice. It's like real tank. <laughs> uh, here is LED space block. A real IoT garage for kids with their parents. It's amazing. It's really amazing. 
and all the space is about creativity and uh, you can go here and like anybody do a reservation and this is the real kids ready IoT garage available for anybody for free I didn't pay anything and you see robotics uh, you see different stuff that's so impressive I really really like it and like, again I'm speechless because another thing what we wanted to do what we considered with the community million for IoT Forge okay the demo of a robot of course what the robot should do dance This is explanation of the robot, how it works, how it operates, how many sort of models it has, and each of these can be programmed. No, I don't understand Japanese, but it's kind of like technical gut feeling. Okay, one more demo. Wow. So you see, it could move different directions. Front, left, right. Because of specific wheels they used. Okay. We have even more stuff. Follows. Okay. 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 So this is uh, the final overview of the second floor of TPI uh, Advanced uh, Technology Gallery. So this is the room where they sh have showcases. It's not ready yet, and uh, I mean, like educational materials for the kids. Again, bunch of all the stuff 3D printers, tuning sets, all the uh, details, wires, whatever, whatever, whatever you have, schematics, all the tools. Uh, they have uh, really cool, uh, you see, uh, toolings, as I mentioned, and uh, bench workspaces. Uh, they do have working demo components and examples. Laptops for like, trading, 3D models, programming, robots are uh, already ready to set and use. Top rules, displays, wide warnings, laser reaching devices, uh, all the stuff needed for the printer. Almost done, 84%. <laughs> uh, again, such a wonderful experience. Kids playing with it, parents are happy. So this is a real kids option for IoT garage and how they can learn to add stuff. Okay, we are leaving the second floor and um, again, as I mentioned, this is a very, very good stuff to learn. Here we do some summary of our visit, uh, feedback which we ask. So let's do it and I will get back to you guys. <gasps> wow, nice. I got some gift. <laughs> So these are probably different sticker colors, no? Yes, I will check, thank you. And here is our virtual assistant, she's here as well. Okay, let's do a very brief overview of first floor, and that's it for today. Thank you, IT Forge. Okay, so we get back to the first floor. The second one was called Creative Lab, which makes sense. Hello, and uh, I'm just going to do a brief overview thank you for your assistance very kind personnel they as i mentioned explain everything so the different sections about like technology utilization different types of energy different types of lifestyle work time and uh, society so these all colors i will share a bit later i do have an example of uh, the recommended list they shared and uh, yeah this is also about earth and uh, how different materials, how they disrupt it in the sea and the other conditions.